Hey guys, it's long due and based on popular request, um, I've been asked to share some insights on a tropical tree that I grow, um, actually a couple of them, um, Jaboticaba or Haboticaba, depends on where you are and the pronunciation. And uh, I also want to share my, uh, my struggles and also my, my learnings with this guy. I, we planted this about two and a half years ago, right at the, uh, probably right before the pandemic or right at the beginning of the pandemic. So it's probably about two years, maybe not two and a half years. And um, for those of you that don't know, this is a very slow, extremely slow growing tropical fruit tree. This is a... Uh, Sabra variety and you can see the new growth with uh, shown by the red leaves and then also the, the green leaves you can also see at the edges of those leaves uh, some some salt and burn uh, which indicates that it doesn't like the pH of our water these guys love acidic soil and um, well I did provide it acidic soil I provided a CDT but the regular watering cycle with the uh, typical uh, uh, tap water that I give is not the most impressive. So this is the bigger guy that I have. Probably grew about in two years, maybe the equivalent of about 15 centimeters or about eight, nine inches. Um, actually, it looks pretty sad. Now that I fed it about two weeks ago, we had some rain. It actually shows some activity of growth and uh, pushing some new growth. However, uh, from a reality checkpoint, uh, it looks like it's definitely not in the tropics. It should be nice and lush and full and green. Uh, you can see it's just not. It's, it's, uh, it's struggling to be here. It loves to be in an understory. So it's sitting right now next to a, a, a bear's line that I have. Also, I have some rosemary here. So it shades it in the beginning of the day and during the day. I also have it sitting right below my palm trees. So I think it's a love and hate relationship here because those palm trees love to send its, its roots right here and take all the nutrients and ingredients that would, would uh, benefit this guy. But, you know, uh, it's definitely, it's in my trials and in my experiences is worth uh, stretching my I guess my, my skills to see if, if I can make this work. It takes a whole lot of time to fruit. Um, I would say the Sabra variety, because it can only be grown from seeds, um, you're looking at about eight years to get any fruit. And the fruit is, uh, is uh, also uh, starting should the origin, the, I mean, it should start on the trunk. It looks like a grape uh, size and it should be off the trunk but maybe another five years or so before I can even have a conversation about showing any fruit. And then I also have a younger, smaller, different variety. And uh, I would say it's in pretty sad shape as well. Um, surviving, existing, but not really thriving. This is another Jaboticaba and it's the Paulista variety. It mainly grew about yay much in what two years since it's been sitting here next to its uh, sibling that's a little bit larger but uh, you know it's not uh, not worth it if you don't struggle and try a little bit and, and see what's the best way to uh, to challenge yourself and see what kind of fruits and specifically tropical fruits one could grow in in an area that's very dry and atypical for uh, growing some uh, some tropical fruits. There you go. You can see the tag. And uh, hopefully one day, one day we'll see some fruit, but it's gonna be years and years before I can even share some reality check. It is grown outside, it's not in a pot, which is a different struggle. In the winter, I have to cover it so it doesn't freeze, it doesn't do well. It loves the typical rain, the natural rain with the right uh, uh, 
I would say qualities of the rain versus just the tap water and the tap water via its um, uh, standard uh, irrigation system uh, it, it just doesn't like it you could see some of the leaves actually they're recovering right now because but you see some remnants of uh, of salts being uh, stored in the uh, in the leaves because of the uh, water quality and also um, it's I would say it's uh, genetics fighting fighting to live in San Diego versus being somewhere in a Brazilian ra rainforest Nevertheless, the struggle is real and this is the reality check of uh, attempting to grow something that stretches at least my limits here in the, in the zone 10 uh, in Southern California where we do have the heat but we also get some um, a few days of uh, freeze uh, during the winter but it's the humidity and the lack of rain that's uh, impacting this guy the most. All right, so there you go. One Paulista. And then the standard Sabra, the more uh, standard variety here. I wanted to, uh, again, learn and uh, stretch my skills. If you do have experience with Jabuticaba in San Diego, specifically in the East County, uh, where it's drier and hotter, let me know. I purposely did not keep it in a pot because I wanted to see if I can grow it outside because I do plan to travel and take a vacation once in a while and having it uh, inside the house and having somebody to water it it's not uh, it's not extremely convenient hence hence my uh, my attempt to grow it straight in the ground all right cheers and happy uh, tropical fruit growing